We've made biscuits and gravy before. We've made breakfast burritos before. Never have we combined the two. And that changes today, because here we are. Yep, you wanna see how we knock this one out? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. Real quick, we gotta come in and just mention we've got our cookbook forthcoming. The Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook is available for pre-order on Amazon now. Don't forget to check it out. Don't forget to check it out. There's a link to that in the description below. That's right, Brett. <sighs> Today, we are slaying a beast, not in the beast room. Correct. In the backyard diner where I'm, I'm super happy nice that we're back. back together with you. Yeah, it's been First a while. of all, it's nice being back together. Yes. Second of all, it's nice being back at the, the backyard, backyard diner. Backyard diner. Backyard beast room. Backyard diner. That's how long it's yeah. been. The backyard diner. Yeah, it's been. It's been a minute due to uh, work schedule it has actually benefited for Adam to come up to my place so that's why we've been filming up there for so much longer two years from now you're watching this you're like we don't care what you're talking about yeah just... we don't care where you're cooking we just want to see the food which Correct. is what we want to bring to you this one I'm excited for biscuits and gravy one of my favorite things this is the biscuits and gravy was one of those check mark items when I first started to cook and yep. I thought man if I could make a good biscuits and gravy now just a disclaimer this is how we do the gravy yes and we're not comparing to your grandma's recipe or we do it, we shouldn't even call it from the South because we don't care. This is how we've always done gravy. It's how our sister, our mom, taught us to do gravy. It's a very basic gravy a roux. Simple, and if you've never done sausage gravy, try this and then tell us it's not gravy. Right, it will still be really good. We're super excited for it. We've tried it with bacon. We prefer without for our sausage gravy. But Brett, we're talking about groceries that may or may not appear in this one. Oh, Let's yes. just get to the They groceries. do appear in there. Let me go. Oh, before we get to that, in case you didn't know, I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Walt, Walt Twins. Twins. And here we go to the groceries. Now, of course, this is a burrito. You see those tortillas up front. Tortillas. But one of the big stars of the show are these biscuits that we have right here. We're going to show you how we're going to warm them up. We're using this Jimmy Dean regular sausage. We've got eggs. We're going to be scrambling up. We've got salt, pepper, not pictured butter, and we're using milk flour and butter, by the and way, for the roux. We love these Mary B's biscuits. They, we've used these several times from Frozen. Yep. We like to cook them right on the griddle top. We're gonna show you now a side note. Because we wanna speed up this process a little bit, yeah. while these are cooking, we're gonna prep the gravy inside. We've done the full cook right here on the griddle surface. Yep. It takes a little bit longer, but if you're camping, you could do the same process. Really, all we're doing is tossing two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour once it's, once it's melted, get that nice roux thickening up and then we slowly start adding this whole milk. Now you can use cream for super thickness, but this works just as well for us. And then we're gonna salt and pepper to taste, recognizing that when we bring it back out to the griddle, once the sausage is done, that sausage and the greasy goodness is going to increase the flavor profile, yes. making this perfect. Well, let's get to the process. Yeah. Let's get over to these uh, biscuits going. All right, so here we go. We've got the butter. I'm just gonna lay down here. We've decided we're gonna do six biscuits because we're gonna be breaking them up and putting them inside the burrito. So that's, we're just showing you the process. Brent started to face up that one. Look, ooh, those are glowing. I almost got to put my hand there to, so we can see them. These things are glowing, but there we go. So we're gonna let those go for about a minute or two. All we're trying to do is get golden brown on the bottom and then we'll flip them onto our wire rack. All right, we've been on for about three minutes flat and that is where you turn them and burn them. No, we don't burn them, Brett. We Correct. Don't burn. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna oh, try man. my best to make a little bit of a circle here. We actually started to pull them a little bit early. That's why a little bit stuck, but Brett, we just need to let them cook. Yes. Look at those. These are perfect. perfect. I'm All like right. so giddy with how perfect those are. Let me come around the other side. There we go. Oh. Man, that is perfect. Not quite the circle I was hoping for, but that's what we're getting. Uh, so there we go. We are going to now take the dome and put it on top. There we go. And we're gonna let this go. We'll check them in 10 minutes, uh, but we're thinking it's gonna take, take a little 10, 15 minutes to cook. Yep. All right, there Brett, how's it coming along? Well, let's take a look. All right. First of all, we're gonna take a look at those biscuits. Look at those are nice. perfect. And How do they out. feel? Oh, poofing out. They just need a little bit longer. Yep. Now they are slightly stuck to the rack. We didn't uh, butter or put spray on the rack, so we're gonna have to kind of pull those off. We will, yes, we will manipulate those when we need, but we're gonna go ahead and cover those for maybe about five more minutes. All right, we've got this on and this gravy is thick. So now, Brett, let's just go ahead and let's toss the um, sausage. sausage on. All right, we'll get the sausage out here. There we go. Timber! <laughs> the best part is this is just gonna take us a minute or two to fry, ah, oh, about three, who am I kidding? Three, four <laughs> minutes, cook all the way through, and uh, then we're gonna add it to our gravy. 
All right, looking at that. That's just about all the way cooked out. We got a little bit more pink. We'll render a little bit more of that pink out. <laughs> we'll just cook a little bit more. And then we're gonna add that to our gravy. And then we're gonna get the eggs done and this build. We're just about towards the tail end of this one. Yeah, we are, man. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add the sausage into the gravage. <laughs> to the gravage. And yes, we are using all the sausage for this one. All of it because we want this to thicken up and really just kind of give us some good meat as the uh, lawn crew is doing the blowing the leaves in the back there, the grass. But look at how thick that is, Brett. This is what I was hoping for. Look at yeah. that. Yeah, oh boy. Now we'll give that a little taste, add salt and pepper if So Brett, did we want some gravy with our sausage? <laughs> <laughs> just maybe a little. We've got our four eggs ready to go. We realize, hey, we, we may want to film the process. All we do is a real quick salt and pepper, our secret ingredients for our eggs. Shh. <laughs> oh, I wasn't supposed to say? Nope. And we stir. And we beat. We beat these eggs to oblivion. They never stood a chance. Time to lay the eggs down, but first, bro, you're gonna do some butter. Here, I'll hold the eggs for you. Thank you. So we've got this middle burner on right here, which is where we're gonna do the eggs. By the way, we only do this with a stick of butter when we know by the cooks we're using today, that whole stick of butter is gonna be used. Correct, so I'm gonna go slow because I know it's it's going towards the back and this griddle is not on. We had just there we go. cooled it. There Keep we going. go, all right, there we go. Thought we just cooled run. it a little bit, but still a little bit hot, but look at those eggs. If we've said it once, we've said it once, man. Get you a, a ceramic top for eggs if for nothing else. If for nothing else, exactly. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's almost stupid. So the best part is these eggs are done. The sausage, look at eggs the color. Eggs are not quite done. Not quite Sorry done. I cut you off. But look at the sausage. Look at the color. That has absorbed, my white gravy has absorbed all of the sausage coloring. That's that greasiness that's gonna give it that amazing Gray color. I love flavor. It. All right, Brett, let's get ready to build the, the burritos and then come back for the final phase. You got so, it. The second to final phase, we're gonna build this. And Brett and I were just consulting the best way to do it. We're gonna lay some cheese. That's what I do with my jokes every day. <laughs> then egg. Brett, you didn't accidentally leave the eggs on the griddle for too long, did you? No, not at all. What are we talking about? Ouch. No one's gonna know. They're gonna know. How are they gonna know? So I'm thinking a little bit of biscuits. Break this up. Break that biscuit all up in there. And when I eat biscuits and gravy, this is how I do it anyway. People will cut them open and just put them all the way over. Not me. I always like just breaking them up. And again, we wanted this really thick because if it was going to be too runny, it would just seep out of the whole burrito. Brett, it's kind of doing what I was hoping it would be doing. I, what are you doing? What? You missed a whole spot over here, okay. young man. Hold on, you missed another spot right there. Dude, how am I gonna close this? Oh, yeah, no, oh you right have to there. close? <laughs> this is not an open face burrito, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> an open face burrito. Oh man, no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Oh my stars, he did it. Ladies and gentlemen, he did it. He's a world class champion. Okay, so these burritos are done, but we want to grill them. Now, we're not going to press the burritos. We discussed that because we don't want any of the gravy to seep out. And we did all these extras, so anybody that wants extra biscuits and gravy can have it. We can make more Ooh, of these burritos. Ooh. Bro. There you go. All right, that's... How are you supposed to close it? It's an open face, bud. Brett may have met his match. I think he met his match. The monster match. Oh, oh, no, it's not gonna, uh, you, oh, oh. Just a little bit squirted out, but that's okay. I think we saved it. Okay, it's a little mess, but that's okay. All right. And like I said, we are not gonna press them, especially that one. That one is about to bust out, but we're just gonna grill these on both sides and then we'll pull All them. All right, time to give these beasts Look a at turn. That. This one now we know is a, it's dropping a little bit of dust on the outside. That's, that's all right. right. That's why we that. dubbed that one Brett's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. That means more for me. <laughs> All right, we'll give this just another minute and then we're gonna go ahead and eat these. All right, so first and foremost, let's talk about this. This is the Valhalla series from Dahlstrong. Brett and I have recently become affiliates and it's kind of a dream for us to get to work with Dahlstrong. And we are so thrilled about this. And this is probably 
my favorite knife so far, although that is so hard to say because we love all of the products we've had a chance to use. Yeah, so this right here, you can see the craftsmanship is absolutely insane. This right here is a Valhalla series. This is a chef knife cleaver hybrid. And this is both mine and Adam's favorite knife to use. We love the chef's knife. We love the butcher's knife from the Shogun series. But this one, just for the presentation itself, I mean, look at the handle, just handcrafted, absolutely beautiful. So, and sharp. Very, very sharp, as I'm gonna get cut right into this burrito. And that thing is all but falling apart in all of the right ways. Brett, let's go ahead and eat this up. How let's about that? It. Well, there it is in, in all, all its, its glory. glory. Or there they are. Yes. We actually decided to split the one since it was already cut. We cut it with the Valhalla at your boy. Can I get a what, what Valhalla at your boy? We love it, but this looks absolutely incredible. We had to let these cool down. Yeah. Like we say, it can look amazing. <laughs> it looks absolutely amazing. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Oh, can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. That's why I said stack. <laughs> but if it doesn't taste amazing, then this is all, all for not. not. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my brother. Mm, mm, oh my, mm. That, um, this is so good. <laughs> Probably the best breakfast I, I'm we've debating, ever made. Do I, do I say that this is the best breakfast thing I've ever put in my mouth? And I think it is. Griffin is dying for a bite. Want to come this over is, here? Griffin's gonna take a bite. What do you think, bud? He's taking another bite. Look at that. Do you want me to do a finger snap for you? Okay, Griff, there he goes. He, he did, did the, the finger, finger snap. snap. <laughs> Griff is back off, off screen here. Griffin, how was it? His mouth is full. Griffin, he's how was it? just thumbs up. All he's Thumb doing is giving thumbs up. Now, Griffin typically doesn't eat breakfast foods like this. That's saying a lot. Oh, okay. My. Okay, yeah. I put mine down. This is just. He's never had biscuits yeah, and gravy. He's never, he's never cared to try biscuits and gravy before, but he tried that. What do you think? So, so good. good, it is so good. Now, I will say the sausage comes through and the biscuit and the egg, egg and the, the egg, cheese. The egg was the first thing that I got when I bit into it. And then I got the nice creaminess from the cheese. And of course, the biscuits and gravy did their job. The biscuit it was surprisingly just golden and fluffy. Perfect. It was just great. And a little good. bit of butteriness from when we buttered that. And the crispiness from the, the shell. From uh, crisping it up on the uh, flat top there. I am so giddy about this one. It, when, when, we th when I thought about doing this one, this is exactly what I had in mind. I taste the butteriness. The egg is just that little hint note after the fact. This is perfect. Dude, it was perfect. Everything was cooked to perfection. Griffin? Oh, uh, it's so good I can't even explain it. Yeah, so can't good even he can't even explain it. Yeah, he we're went, having a hard, we're like breaking it down and having went, a hard time too. He went and stole another bite too. I'm so, I'm okay with that. I got a, I made myself a mess here. We have a whole other burrito. We've got plenty of stuff to make more so we can do that. Now, like we said too, we did do the gravy inside. We have made it right on the griddle surface as well. In fact, done at the same time, they probably would have finished the same time, the biscuits yep. and that gravy roux, then we would have done the meat. But I just wanted to make that point yep. because we did do the indoor cheat. But that said, I'm super excited we came and did this one. So good. If you like this one, if this video gave you something else, another idea that you could cook on your griddle, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us through our merchandise is a link to that in the description below this video. Also, don't forget to check out our cookbook, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook, available on Amazon.com and actually any retail Taylor, most book retailers right now do yep. your pre-order, and yep. we are so honored to have gotten to work with the Quarto Group on this, and we can't wait to present it to you. Yep, exactly right. And again, uh, pre pre-order on Amazon, link below, and uh, yeah, maybe more on the way. Maybe we'll more see. on the way. But Brett, yes. why else, aside from coming to knock out this banger, do we come and do all of this? Because all we do is twin, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on.